From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. A good chance for afternoon storms today. Greg D has your full weather forecast that's coming up. Thank you for joining us. I'm Isabel Rosales and here are your ABC Action News headlines. Deputies are searching for the man caught on surveillance video stealing letters out of mailboxes in Wesley Chapel. Neighbors believe thieves are targeting mailboxes with their flags up, looking for checks that they can then forge for higher amounts of cash. To be able to do that without disturbing that watermark um, that tells you you're, you're not dealing with, you know, just some Joe Schmo. You're dealing with someone who is knowledgeable in the criminal field. To protect your mail, the U.S. Postal Service suggests you never send cash because it can't be tracked like checks. Also have the post office hold your mail if you're going out on vacation. Plus report all thefts to a postal inspector. You can even start a neighborhood watch program. The Pinellas County father accused of killing his daughter by throwing her off the Dick Meissner Bridge will now go on trial in March. John John Chuck's trial was supposed to begin yesterday, but it was postponed because his lawyers want to keep a state witness from testifying. There will be a hearing for that in December. Lakeland wants you to put down your cell phone when getting behind the wheel. That's because distracted drivers are blamed for killing five of the city's famous swans. Lakeland officials want your ideas on how they can better protect the birds from cars using Lake Morton Drive. You can give suggestions on a survey that's posted up right now on the city's website. Meanwhile, neighbors plan to discuss ways to slow traffic in the area that's happening at tonight's neighborhood meeting. Your next trip to Disney World could cost you more money. That's because starting next month, prices at the resort's four theme parks will vary based on the particular day. Single day tickets will cost between 109 to 129 bucks. On Disney's website, though, you can view how much a ticket will cost on any given day. The three game suspension for Buccaneers QB Jameis Winston is finally over. The big question now is which QB will start for the Bucks on Sunday in Chicago, Winston or Ryan Fitzpatrick? Last night, Fitzpatrick put the Bucks in a hole, throwing three interceptions in the first half. The worst came just before halftime when Bud Dupree picked off Fitzpatrick's pass and returned it 10 yards for the touchdown. The Bucks' second half comeback fell just short as they lost 30 to 27. Tough spot to turn it over four times and, and really three, you know, interceptions on me. Uh, can't have them. Hard to win a game that way. Give the Steelers their credit. They they uh, they got us tonight. We gave ourselves a chance there at the end and uh, just couldn't couldn't pull it off. Bucks fans did get to celebrate one thing at halftime last night when the team inducted former head coach Tony Dungy into the Bucks Ring of Honor. All right, Greg, some possibilities of afternoon showers, but Wednesday is looking mighty pretty. It is it's looking a lot better as we head into tomorrow. Today we'll be looking at showers and thunderstorms. Similar coverage to what we saw back on Monday afternoon and evening, maybe about an hour earlier in Tampa. So instead of 6 p.m. at the highest rain coverage, maybe 5 o'clock this afternoon. Of course, if you're to the east of Tampa, you'll be seeing thunderstorms between noon and 4 p.m. and then I-75 toward the coast between 4 and 7 o'clock tonight. Some of those storms producing frequent lightning and very heavy rain. You can track them as they move down to your neighborhood by downloading the Storm Shield app. Isabel. Thanks, Greg, and you can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Have a great day. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertFloridaToday.com. Drivers always avoid distractions while driving and focus on the road because safety doesn't happen by accident.